Hey, I'm Josh Graves, and I'm the writer and director of Red Summer Massacre. Uh, funny enough, I wasn't always into horror. It was sort of a gradual thing for me. It started out as comedy. And uh, my dad introduced to me the Three Stooges, Abbott and Costello, and it kind of just branched off from there. I would watch the more macabre horror, like uh, macabre um, comedies, like um, The Addams Family, The Monsters, and Abbott and Costello was a little bit more macabre because they meet Frankenstein and all that. So generally that's what got me into horror it wasn't until I watched Beetlejuice that really became kind of the horror comedy kind of aspect of it. Um, but comedy was like my segue into horror. And from then, it just kind of branched out until I watched one of my um, first horror movies was Dracula. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. My favorite horror movie would be Pumpkinhead. It's um it's a very underrated horror film. It has one of the best monsters to ever grace the screen. And it's done by Stan Winston. And Stan Winston is just a a master of makeup and effects and monster uh, effects. And the whole pumpkin head design is absolutely outstanding and um, you have a great cast and you really feel for the father who had just lost his son and you really you really feel his revenge and it's just a really underrated film uh, my favorite subgenre of horror would probably be um, paranormal films because don't get me wrong, I love slashers. I, I've not always been the biggest slasher person. Um, obviously, I'm wearing a Strangers t-shirt, but I'm not the biggest slasher. Everybody's favorite subgenre is more of the slasher and the zombie films and stuff, and that's great, and the gore, of course, but that's great, but there's something about just a good old paranormal movie or a monster movie that really does it for me. One of my favorite paranormal movies is The Entity, and it's it's just, it's a rough film, but it is, it's really well done, and it actually scares me, and that's what I like about horror films, is there's not a lot of movies out there that scare me, but when I watch The Entity, it, it really does something to me. It actually terrified me, and that's why I like the uh, paranormal films because you never know when you're sitting beside a ghost and it just it just scares me uh, my favorite era in horror would have to be the 80s um, some of the best movies came out of the 80s you got some cheesy movies and cheese is always great especially when you just want to have a fun watch um, I would have to say the 80s is my favorite decade Uh, the horror community is just a really loving group of people who accept you as one of your own, even if you don't necessarily like horror films, but you have watched horror films. They'll accept anyone who really enjoys the genre, and um, they're really nice. Of course, they can be very picky also, but it's very nice to sit down and talk with people and... They're complete strangers, but you feel like you've known them your whole life, and that's something really unique about that. It's it's not everyone is strangers in the horror community. We're all friends. It, we all have something in common. We love horror, and I think that's fantastic. The first movie that actually scared me as a child was Pet Cemetery. Um, just the scene alone where um, Gage gets hit by the truck, it was um, it was really scary for me as a kid because I was a kid, and it's not something that you typically see when you're a kid, and it really scared me to the point where I didn't even want to go outside. Um, I was just terrified that I was going to get hit by a tractor and trailer, but we don't have tractor and trailers that come down our street, but 
it was just really scary to see that as a child. Women in horror. I absolutely love women in horror, and it goes hand in hand. Uh, feminism is um, is a really good thing, and we need more women in horror because I, I feel like um, they get typically looked over, but I do think that women have their place in horror. And it's, I'm a sucker for a final girl, like Jamie Lee Curtis and Sigourney Weaver um, are two of the biggest inspirations, you know, for our movie Red Summer Massacre. It's it's something about a final girl and badass women kicking ass is, I, I love it. I, I wish there would be more trans people in horror and I wish there would be more women in horror and not just a male dominated industry. And I think that women hold a special place in horror. I would just like to thank the fans um, of horror because they're the ones that is getting Red Summer Massacre a go and a green light and I really appreciate that. Um, February 7th our Indiegogo campaign starts so definitely make sure you look out for the day one perks because they're going to be awesome. We're going to have Blu-rays, merchandise, uh, t-shirt, posters, pictures, a vacation at Red Summer. It's going to be insane so just make sure you tune in February 7th for Red Summer Massacre.